Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the United States Military Academy. Today, the United States Corps of Cadets will conduct a review in honor of our guests from Tulane University and alumni returning for homecoming from the classes of 1989, 1994, and 1999. While the cadets assemble for the review, we would like to give you a brief history of the actions you will observe on the plane today. Military drill plays a fundamental role in the history of soldiering. Drill prepared troops for battle, and for the most part, drill procedures in the days of old copied actual battlefield maneuvers. It was this realistic aspect of drill that made it such an important part of training. Even today, as new weapons call for new tactics, drill remains a necessary and useful training activity. Time zoom. Over 200 years right ago, on the, the first problem captain. of training an army already at war confronted the founders of our nation. George Washington's Continental Army, after continual losses to superior British forces, suffered from a lack of organization, discipline, and teamwork. Washington recognized the poor state of morale and hired a distinguished Prussian officer who specialized in the instruction of drill and discipline. Baron von Steuben arrived at Valley Forge in the winter of 1778 to face an army of several thousand half-starved, ragged men. He immediately set to work writing drill regulations for a company of 120 select soldiers chosen from various units in the Continental Army. Discipline soon became the cornerstone of military life for the soldiers of the model company as they learned to obey commands without hesitation. By mastering the art of drill through teamwork, the soldiers developed a collective sense of pride in themselves and their unit. Observers watching the model company were astonished to see how quickly and orderly the troops formed and maneuvered into different battle formations. Later, General Washington distributed the members of the model company throughout the army to teach what they had been taught. Through this simple emphasis on drill, the effectiveness and efficiency of the Continental Army greatly improved. In 1779, to ensure continuity and uniformity, von Steuben wrote the American Army's first field manual, the regulations for the order and discipline of troops of the United States, commonly referred to as the Blue Book. To this day, cadet regulations are still referred to as the Blue Book. In fact, some of Von Steuben's proceedings throughout the review on the command of present arms. Since the earliest of times, men of arms have used some form of salute as a means of greeting one another. In the age of chivalry, horse-mounted knights wore steel body armor completely covering the face and body. When two friendly knights met, they would each lift their visors with the right hand to expose their faces to each other and use their left hand to hold the horse's reins. Not only did this allow the knights to recognize each other, but it was also a deliberate movement of their sword hand away from their swords. Over time, this action became a significant gesture of friendship, camaraderie, and respect. The act of raising the right hand to the visor continued even after steel body armor became obsolete with the invention of modern firearms. Today, the most commonly observed form of this exchange is the hand salute given as a recognition and friendly greeting to a comrade in the honorable profession of arms. The United States Military Academy is pleased to count among its guests for this morning's review one of West Point's own astronauts, Colonel Retired Bill MacArthur, a member of the class of 1973. Colonel MacArthur flew on three shuttle missions and spent over six months in space on the International Space Station. Colonel MacArthur is here celebrating the 10th anniversary of the International Space Station in orbit, as well as the 40th anniversary of the first lunar landing during the Apollo 11 mission. After today's review, you can meet Colonel MacArthur at Black Knight's Alley. Please direct your Black attention Knight's to the cadets marching on to the I am not field. sure. I do not know. <laughs> Things change over the years, right? The drill team's history spreads over 20 years. 
1985, fourth-class cadets formed the drill team to promote the discipline of exhibition drill. The team uses the M1903 Springfield Rifle, which weighs approximately 9 pounds. High levels of training, discipline, and teamwork are critical for a successful performance. Members of the drill team practice throughout the week in addition to their normal cadet duties. Ladies and gentlemen, the Black Knight Drill Team. The drill team is commanded by Cadet Devin Zillner from Long Beach, California. The training officer is Cadet Andrew Salceda from San Antonio, Texas. The drill team regularly competes in various regional and national competitions. They are known for consistently placing in the top three at these events. These competitions draw teams from such institutions as Norwich University, Texas A&M, and the other service academies. <laughs>